Welcome to Creta Classes. How are you all? In previous class, we have studied about sum and difference of angles. In this lecture, we will study about sum and difference of trigonometric ratios, which means we will study these four formulas, which are cos x plus cos y, cos x minus cos y, sin x plus sin y, sin x minus sin y. Are you able to observe the difference? Previously, we have done cos x plus y. Now we will do cos x plus cos y. Means previously we have done sum and difference of angles. Now we will study sum and difference of trigonometric ratios. This is the reason why we have not clubbed it with other formulas of sum and difference. We have kept this topic to be covered in the end so to avoid any confusion between the formulas. Okay, this will be a small lecture, so just be with me. Let's begin. The first step that only you have to remember is. we have to do addition and subtraction of both the cos equations on the same line we have to do addition and subtraction of both the sin equations okay just addition and subtraction of both the cos and both the sin equation will give our output we will get four equation on solving these four equation we will get our result i will show you how let's add both the cos equation first we will get 2 times cos x into cos y on subtraction of both this cos equation we will get minus 2 times sin x into sin y similarly on addition of both the sin term we will get 2 times sin x into cos y and on subtraction of both the sin term we will get 2 times cos x into sin y okay Let's take out x plus y and x minus y from all these four equation, and replace x plus y with theta and x minus y with phi. Our equation will look something like this. Okay, as the main angle are in theta and phi, let's change x and y also to theta and phi. We know x plus y equal to theta and x minus y equal to phi. On adding both this equation, we get x equal to theta plus phi by two, and on subtracting both the equation, we got our y as theta minus phi upon two. Okay, simple mathematics. Okay, we have just converted x and y to theta and phi. Let's replace it in our main equation. Okay, we got our final result as Cos theta plus cos phi is equal to two times cos theta plus phi upon two into cos theta minus phi upon two, and similarly our cos theta minus cos phi, sin theta plus sin phi, and sin theta minus sin phi. All the four equation we will get our output. Okay, theta and phi are just angles. Can we give them any name? Again, we can give them name as x and y. If we change theta to x and phi to y, our equation will change to this. Okay simply we have replaced theta with x and phi with y do not get confused that we have converted theta and phi to x and y again how again we can put x and y here okay do not get confused theta and phi are just nomenclature of angle they are just a symbolic name we can put anything like we can put alpha or beta angle or we can put like angle c or angle d anything in place of theta and phi the equation or the mathematical portion will remain same okay are you getting we can put anything as our all the other formulas are in x and y term so here we have used x and y angle okay got the concept note in down so that's it for this lecture if you have enjoyed the video please like and subscribe to my channel visit us at creataclasses.com link is given in the description If you want video on any specific topic please mention the topic in the comment section we will prepare the video and we will upload the same on the youtube okay thank you very much for being with creator classes bye for now